As we come on the air tonight, those states of emergency in Texas and Oklahoma, and just look at this behind me tonight. This is Houston, just one of the flooded highways there. Cars just left stranded, the headlights on. And tonight, at least 15 dead, and now new storms hitting this evening all the way up to Michigan. We have stunning images coming in at this hour. Houston underwater, the nation's fourth largest city, crippled. Schools closed, families told to stay inside. In El Blanco, Texas, this oh SUV flipped. Oh the driver incredibly escaping and is okay tonight. More than 60 reported tornadoes since Saturday, this one in Sherman, Texas. And tonight, the search for the missing now. At least 13 in one county in Texas alone, including that mother and those two young children swept away in that home. Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z has the new storms hitting tonight, but first, ABC's Matt Gutman from Texas. Tonight, Houston still swamped. In just 24 hours, the city getting nearly a quarter of its yearly rainfall, turning highways into canals, cars set floating like bath toys, motorists abandoning them, families carrying children through waist high water. We have a thousand properties that we visually inspected. We believe that uh, there may be as many as 4,000 with significant damage. These storms leaving at least 12 dead across Texas. Overnight, dispatchers responding to more than 900 emergency calls, more than 500 of them water rescues. The value has uh, overflowed. Rescuers barely able to keep up. We have a female was standing on top of the car underneath the bridge to really rescue. This man's dash cam rolling as he drives through the floods. Yeah, I can't see. Daylight showing the scope of the disaster. Rescuers launching boats in submerged neighborhoods. We saw the aftermath of the storms from above in the KTRK chopper. From the sky, you can see how high the water has been. There are still dozens of cars stranded down there, and the traffic continues to back up more than 16 hours after all of that rain fell. In Hayes County, Texas, at least 13 unaccounted for, including Laura McComb and her two young children. They were inside this house when it was swept away. Her husband was injured but is now safe. Their family dog found alive in a tree. And she called me. She said, I'm in a house. I'm floating down the river. Tell mom and dad, I love you and pray. Nearby, this bridge on the Blanco River washed away. The water taking this SUV with it. Oh my God, oh my God. Somehow the man inside climbed to safety. <laughs> we recently simulated how to escape a submerged car. Experts say don't wait. Open your windows immediately and get out before the water gets too high. David, I want you to see that clearance sign right there. It reads 14 feet in the water back there. It has to be at least 10 feet deep. Now, city officials tell me that they don't know whether or not there are still cars submerged in these waters. What they do know is that across most of this city, the waters have begun to recede. David. Well, that is the good news tonight. Matt Gutman leading us off from Texas.